I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian. I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why today I am reacting to a brand new Christmas song from Joe Kozala, Greg's Christmas Party from his just-released Christmas EP, uh, and I say just-released, as in it was released today, the day that I am recording this, uh, which is perfect timing because the song that I had planned for when this video comes out uh, got blocked uh, and may not see the light of day on YouTube, uh, but if you want, you can see it over on my Patreon. Um, it's a fun Christmas tune that came out this year as well. But anyway, regardless of that, yes, if uh, you heard me right, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music. What that means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over the lyrics and missing the jokes in the song, because that's kind of the point of a comedy song, for it to be funny. And I don't want to miss anything, and sometimes that means I'm discussing how the video and lyrics work in tandem to help emphasize the jokes, and sometimes uh, how the jokes are structured, sometimes even explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people sometimes, and sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider me, consider me, consider me, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, exclusive videos like the one I mentioned moments ago, and all sorts of other cool things like that. But anyway, all of that out of the way, let's dive into today's video. Uh, Joe Kozala, I actually reacted to earlier in this week. Uh, and am reacting to again because, like I said, just put out a brand new Christmas EP. Very excited to see this one, um, Greg's Christmas Party. I've really enjoyed the two songs of Joe's that I've checked out so far. Haven't checked out the full album yet, uh, unfortunately, because I, I sadly just haven't had time. <laughs> I'll, I'll be perfectly frank about it, uh, especially with like recording all of these videos to have come out this week because, you know, end of the week is... Christmas and I'm going to be out of town for holiday stuff. So, uh, but yes, uh, hopefully should be checking that out soon as well as the Christmas EP. Uh, I've really been enjoying his stuff and I hope you have too. But anyway, let's dive in. Oh, festive. Went to school with my wife in 2004. 2004. Thank you, song, for immediately making me feel old. 2004, I was... I was done with college. I mean, I should have been done with college. We won't get into that. But they don't really ever talk anymore Yet here we are standing at his front door Cause he's having a Christmas Sure, that's not awkward at all. To go to the Christmas party of your wife's ex that she dated in school. They've never talked, they haven't talked really at all, and yet you're invited to the Christmas party now. That's weirdly relatable. Like, it's not a thing that's happened to me, but like, I can see it happening. Oh, that's gonna suck. <laughs> Oh. This just got real awkward. Like, the situation was awkward before, and now... Crazy has entered the chat. Also, uh, we just lost my wife's cat uh, last week, so that's upsetting. Uh, yeah. Um, 
So that's weird to have that tie into there. Huh? Um, regardless. Whoa, that's a problem. This... Here's the thing, and I've talked about structure uh, and, and joke structure and joke structure in songs before. Um, we have already in this, we've established the theme, and Joe is really good about this in, in his pr other songs that I've reacted to, where, like, you have your, your establishing joke of, like, getting the concept out in the song, and you work in threes, and then you have the, your, your second verse is the build on that, and then the final verse is taking it to the extreme. Um, and then when you have something like this in the first verse... If you're building on that kind of structure, it, give, it makes me excited for the anticipation of what the extreme will be if they are going by that structure. Um, so, because uh, that's that's some weird shit right there. Excitement, and also, oh, th this, I'm sorry, as soon as you're first throwing the coats out on the cold in outside instead of inside is one thing and we're like all right that's just weird and then introducing to a dead cat i am opening that door and grabbing my coat and leaving i i'm, I'm gone nice to see you notice there's no one else here except us mm. it's kind of like this situation where hey does this does this handkerchief smell like chloroform to you i don't want to find out mm. he made a special red green why is the cat in a cooler why is the cat in a cooler they said he he passed away last sunday what day is the party happening on Several days later? Is that why the cat is in a cooler? Is there ice in there to keep... These are questions I actually don't want answers to. And he's singing, We Gotta Stop Going to Greg's Christmas Party. Is this a thing that happens more than once? I know I'm going to find out by listening to the song, and I know that's aggravating some of you by the fact that I keep pausing and stuff, but... The idea and the structure of the song makes me want to ask these questions, and that's also what the theme of this show is, so get over it. We come every year and this place smells weird. <laughs> the only ones here at Grace Christmas party. I have proven my point. If I had just waited, whatever, who cares? It's, I like pausing and learning things, and also talking about it. It's... It's just fun for me. And also, Merry Christmas, everyone. I, I also noticed that, yeah, they're the only ones there. There's no one else in that party. It's just them. When they walked in, there was clearly nothing else happening in that house. The fact that this happens every year. It's weird that you dated before... You, your your wife dated him in school, and, and then you go to this party every year, and it's always weird, and it smells funny, and there's a dead cat, and no one else, and... Why would you do this? Uh, by the way, love the production value of the video. It's great. Um, really, you know, the the singing shots of him in the Santa suit with the sunglasses and the inflatables uh, is great. We have inflatable dragons on my lawn. You may have seen them in one of my Christmas music videos. Shameless plug for Mr. Yuletide. Um, but uh, just having all of that with this uh, is just super fun. And then, you know, actually... All the action taking place at Greg's house. Uh, really funny. A guy playing Greg. Perfectly creepy. Well done. Uh, digging it. I would too.
That is a frightening doll. Uh, there, there, it's missing an eyeball, and there is a hole uh, in in the in the mouth. Not a not a mouth hole, mind you. The mouth was just shut as part of the doll's form, and a hole was put approximately, not where the mouth is, approximately where the mouth is. It kind of, mostly the bottom lip is gone. Um, and the th disturbing thing is thinking about what made that hole, or could make that hole, or why that hole was made. And I'm going to move on. Oh. As a sad little tree with just one ornament I love the rhyme, one ornament ball with a picture of Tim McGraw. That's perfect. That is so genius. And like, I was gonna say, it's a picture of Tim McGraw, and then I was like, I'm, I'm waiting for the lyric, and it came in. Uh, I, it's always great when the lyrics match the visuals, but also it's even better when they emphasize them. But that's just, did you have to buy that? Did you have that made? That's the kind of question somebody would ask, like, when involving in the production of this. Did they make Tim McGraw ornaments, and did you happen to get one just for this song? Amazing. I love, I love crap like that. The frightening doll has a sad little tree with just one ornament doll with a picture That's not even a tree. That, that looks like that big. Compared to the size of the ornament ball, it's, it's, like, this big. It's, that's a succulent more than a tree. Someone else walks in, it's Greg's sister Faye With a sweatshirt that says Reagan is bae Sister Faye with a shirt that says Reagan is bae Sometimes you have to have shirts made for a music video and that's always fun uh, I love doing that kind of thing. I had a multiple shirts made for the very first music video I did on uh, this channel, which isn't even for one of my songs. I did a music video for Weird Al's You're Pitiful, which is an unreleased Weird Al song that he put out on his website because Atlantic Records uh, denied him the permission to release it. So he, he put it out on his, on his channel and I released a music video for it a week later because I had the song memorized and thought it needed a video. So I made multiple shirts for that one. Um, making, you know, having that kind of production value for a, a comedy song is, I think it's, it's key for a lot of things because, you know, it, it helps emphasize the weirdness of a lot of the things you're talking about in your song here. Uh, and the elevation of all these weird concepts and everything. And yeah, having that be in Reagan is Bay. No, there, that shirt does not exist except in the world of this music video now. Or if you're smart, uh, you can how now sell those shirts because they appear in the music video and people will buy them. Psycho Stick is very good about that. <laughs> Let's take it back a little. I love the Tim McGraw ornament. I think it's an album cover. I think that's one of his album covers. There's a copyright tape on that. 1996 Tim McGraw. That's probably from his 96 album, but it's also a 96 ornament. That's amazing. Someone else walks in, it's Greg's sister Faye With a sweatshirt that says Reagan is Bay She Amazing. sits on his lap and try to look away <laughs> As they kiss him, she calls him You, daddy Yeah, that's the appropriate reaction that, ugh, that, mm, no, no, that's, mm. There are so many problems with Greg's Christmas party, I understand why you don't ever want to stay. I wouldn't either. I would not. In my eggnog, there's a hair. There's a dog whose eyes aren't there. Aw, poor blind puppy. Or it's just fur covering him. But I think it's a blind puppy. But also, where'd you find a, a blind dog for this video? I mean, you can ask for casting listings for anything, honestly. But the hair and the dog. That was gross. Ew. When Greg asks our hands for prayer, I shoot my wife a look that says, Oh, we gotta get going, yeah, we gotta get going, oh, we gotta get going from Greg's Christmas party. Don't do that.
don't don't do that with eggnog or or anything honestly in a clear cup especially don't i don't we don't want to see you drinking like a dog no um also the wife uh she kind of looks like she she doesn't want to be there and yet at the same time she she looks like she's feeling like she's obligated to be there are we going to find out why they broke up and maybe that's why he's acting so weird? Stay tuned next time on Dragon Ball Z. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> okay, that's great. I've pointed this out before in, in Joe's videos. Uh, he's doing a lot of really good just facial acting. Like, you know... He, the song is playing, so he's not, like, saying dialogue or anything, although there are parts where there's a spoken word section and he's speaking it. Uh, actually, in both of the previous videos that I've reacted to of his. But, like, there's a lot of really good expressions that he does, and him trying to convey to his wife, behind Greg's back, about how, like, what we should come up with. Like, you know, oh, oh I'm suddenly feeling sick, or, or somebody died or something, and, like, doing it that just by expressions... To, to talk to his wife behind Craig's back, like they're both leaning behind him. That's genius. That is, that's so well telegraphed. Again, that's exactly what I'm talking about, about the video elevating the jokes and the lyrics. You know, we'll come up, you know, uh, I forget what the line is now. But, uh, you know. Gotta get going for Greg's Christmas party. Why? We barely know this guy. Let's just come up with a lie. So he's like, you know, I, I'm feeling, I have a, a, a fever, I'll cough, and whatever, I'm going to barf, you know. All of that in just being telegraphed in facial expressions. So good. So, so genius. That's really great. Rewinding it again for that part. Also, what is Greg's prayer there? Because he's getting into it. <laughs> Uncomfortable. <laughs> Relatable. So there was like a bowl next to the cooler with the cat. Was that supposed to be cat food that just like never got cleaned up? That's incredible. Oh, that's it. That's that's just the end of the song. I'd rather go to church. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, go, of course, check out the video uh, in the link in the description below. Go show Joe some love. Uh, and, of course, if you did enjoy this, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. I really dug the hell out of that. Uh, if you really want to help support the channel, consider supporting me on Patreon like these fine folks over here do. You get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, Patreon-exclusive reactions, and all sorts of other cool stuff. Anyway, that's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow with another reaction. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Yellow snow, yellow snow. Snow, yellow snow